One of the most stirring travel destinations in the entire Indonesian archipelago is Bali. An excursion here awakens the senses. The thick tropical air is permeated with the seductive scent of clove oil and incense. In today's video we gonna tell you how much fun can you have in Bali on a low budget. So bear with us, because we have something really cool for you. If you're new here hit the subscribe button and like this video. Let's get started. Bali is a very affordable travel destination, making it simple to visit the island without worrying about breaking the bank. Bali is still surprisingly reasonable if you know where to look, despite being frequently crowded with tourists. Depending on the type of lodging you choose, $50 to $100 US dollars a day is a reasonable range to set aside in order to travel comfortably throughout Bali. If you want a social environment, Bali has a ton of fantastic hostel options. The most popular choice for most people is to rent a private villa on Airbnb. They have even discovered some for as little as $50 US dollars a night. There are plenty of jungle moods, lovely pools, and spectacular cliff, side vistas on the island. With an abundance of greenery, top-notch surfing, a vibrant nightlife, and some of the world's best vegan cuisine. It's the kind of island where you can decide your own course of action and have a totally unique experience each and every time. People adore visiting Bali alone, and couples find it to be incredibly romantic. Bali for tourists on a budget? It's simple. It all comes down to choosing the kind of experience you want to have when determining where to stay in Bali. Observe the traffic, please. People sometimes mistakenly believe that their traffic is the worst in the entire globe, but the Balinese are serious when they claim that their traffic is worse. It can take up to an hour during rush hour to travel merely 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles. Consider your main interests and the travel time to other regions before making a reservation. There are numerous inexpensive hotels in Bali as well. The Balangan Inn, which is situated in the Jimbaran fishing village, receives good marks from travelers for its inexpensive lodging and welcoming, multilingual staff. This affordable hotel offers premium features like a round-trip airport shuttle, for a charge, free Wi, Fi, and pet, friendly accommodations, so you can relax during your stay, for a fee, the property is a fantastic location for enjoying the beach and going snorkeling. When you stay at the Well House in Nusa Penida, you will be just steps from Mushroom Beach. This family-run hotel is reasonably priced while still being warm and inviting. Swim in their outdoor pool, go snorkeling at Mushroom Bay, or hire bikes to tour Limbongan Island. Additionally, the Well House offers free Wi Fi, free parking, and paid round trip airport transfer. A visit to Sucka Espresso is a necessity if you find yourself at Uluwatu, the surfer's paradise. This small but mighty wooden cabin, perched on the side of a peaceful through road, is open Monday through Sunday from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. Sucka Espresso is a modest cafe that's the ideal place to go for a quick caffeine fix, a hearty breakfast, or a leisurely lunch. Sucka Espresso opened its doors with just an old coffee maker in tow and sourced premium coffee beans from South America and Indonesia. Inside, exposed cement walls and coffee tables from the 1960s combine industrial and vintage style. The kitchen and the decor both display Western influences. The restaurant uses locally sourced ingredients, and its modest yet inventive menu features about 10 options to satisfy any appetite. Enjoy a meal outside beneath the pagoda while sipping a cup of rich espresso for IDR 35, $2.62 $2 or a smoothie bowl, a large dish filled with colorfully arranged fresh fruit. You can savor anything from mango to banana to coconut to pitaya, often known as dragon fruit, for just IDR 65, $2.00 for US dollars and 87 cents, finished with a seed, rich granola. You can discover Nasi Ayam Kidwat and Ibu Manku in the town of Ubud, which is perched on the slope of a hill and is well known for the ancient temples, rice terraces, and dense rainforest that can be found there. This indigenous eatery is housed in what can only be described as a defunct religious temple. As was to be expected, the very lovely atmosphere and the reasonably priced meals that Nasi Ayam Kidwatan have contributed to the restaurant's enormous popularity among both locals and visitors to the area. You enter the restaurant through a beautiful oriental garden that is full of flowers and antique monuments, which leads you to separate wooden cabanas that contain low-rise tables and floor couches. 
The atmosphere of this place is meant to be laid back, and the furnishings reflect that. Although it is worth going to Nasi Ayam Kidwat Nibu Manku merely to take in the scenery, the food is also extremely good there, and the dish that has become the restaurant's signature, Nasi Camper, takes center stage. Sticky rice, mixed green vegetables, Balinese spiced chicken, Ayam Pelala, a meat satay stick, and a hard, boiled egg, all cooked in soy sauce and spices, will be served to you on a beautifully presented plate for the price of IDR 25. 000 $1.87. The plate will also include a meat satay stick. This hearty dish may be served at any hour of the day without feeling out of place. You may get an authentic dining experience at Nasi Ayam Kidwat Nibu Manku, which is open every day from 9 in the morning until 6 in the evening. It's possible that Saffron Vegetarian Fusion is the most underrated restaurant in all of Bali. It is the kind of destination you might picture in your head when you daydream about going on an Asian vacation since it offers delicious food that is prepared with ingredients that are acquired locally and is served in stunning settings. Because it is perched on top of a hill and has an open terrace, having dinner there while watching the sun set in the distance is practically certain. Saffron Vegetarian Restaurant is a proud provider of an international and delicious food, and it can be found at Mandala Village a resort known for its emphasis on leading a healthy lifestyle. The interior design of Saffron is heavily influenced by the numerous excursions that its proprietors have taken all over the world. Every piece of furniture has its own unique history, from rustic wooden tables to ornate chandeliers and everything in between. You can enjoy a nutritious three-course set menu, which includes Tom Yum Guy prepared in a Thai style, for as little as IDR 100. 000, 7 US dollars and 52 cents, between the hours of 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. A really romantic and unique eating experience can be had at Saffron Vegetarian Fusion because to the restaurant's balcony, which provides views of the surrounding countryside and the ocean. Do you wish to go to the stunning rice patties in Bali that are depicted with an emerald green color in all of the island's tourism literature and on Instagram? It is highly recommended that the Tagalalang or Jatalui rice terraces be at the top of your list of places to see, particularly if you are a photographer. Tagalalang rice terraces, located about a half, drive hours north of Ubud, are one of the most well-known spots in Bali for admiring the ageless beauty of these classic landscapes and taking photographs of them. Be warned that the villagers along the most popular trail through the rice fields here solicit for donations, and that many of them ask for fees for access and parking along the road. One of the best ways to appreciate the verdant scenery in a setting that is conducive to relaxation is at one of the many restaurants or cafes that offer a view of the fields. The Jatalui rice terraces cover more than 600 hectares of rice fields along the hillsides of the Batukaru mountain range and are generally less crowded than the Tagalalang rice terraces. They are located about a 90-minute drive from Abud. Because there are fewer people trying to sell you things as a tourist here, it is much simpler to go on foot and explore the area without being hassled. Not every town is small enough to get everywhere on foot, and public transportation in Bali isn't exactly a thing. You'll be relying on drivers to get you where you need to go. The good news is that everyone in Bali is a driver, so you'll have no trouble finding someone to take you wherever you need. There will be plenty of people standing in front of most tourist attractions willing to drive you to wherever you need to go. The bad news is that it costs roughly the same amount to take a scooter across town as it does to rent a scooter for a day. So, save money by renting your own scooter to get you from point A to B in town. A scooter will get you from your lodging to the fantastic restaurant you heard about online, but it won't get you to the temple you've been wanting to visit, which is three hours away. For day travels, you will require a driver. It is less expensive to split this cost with a few friends or fellow tourists. Although drivers are absolutely everywhere promoting their services, it might be challenging to determine what to expect to spend or how much you can see in a single day. This is it for today. Share your thought if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.